Hey guys, Brian here, and welcome back to another episode of Saltfish TV. Today, we're going to be talking about the cube, the death cube. So if you haven't already noticed, <clears throat> I had a little bit more uh, rockscape since our last uh, cube video. I made, let's get a little crystal look. I made, <clears throat> excuse me, a nice ledge slash cave type thing. So there could be some hidey holes for what I plan on putting in here. Also some extra rock down here. Figured this could be a nice, uh, nice little zoa garden down here. So this cube is coming up to uh, about two months. Next week would be two months of it being cycled or cycling. Added some more rock down here for something else to go on there, possibly. If anything, it's more biological, fil biological filtration. There's some nasty biofilm on things. I blame Instant Ocean for that. Gross salt, I hate using it. But it's good for uh, starting out. And I also added this J-Bow uh, SLW-10. The sign drive. Ow, cat. Dang it. <laughs> Stop it. Anyway, I'm trying to eat my toes off. But yeah, I added this SLW 10 uh, wave, wave maker. I really like it. And we got our random flow generator up there. Yeah, two months in, got herself the wave maker in there, added a nice cave, rock for some zoas. Don't know what to put on that rock yet, not sure. I'm also, I'm also debating on, uh, let's see, well, Acans decided to blow over, but I'm also deciding on if I want to break down the Evo or not. What do you guys think I should do? I need some suggestions at least, guys. Uh, put it down in the comments what you think. Cat, you leave me alone. Anyway. Yeah, I, I'm toying with the idea of breaking the Evo down uh, and putting all the coral and whatnot into the cube. Can you stop stroking my pole? Thank you. <sighs> Cats. Anyway, because I have an idea if I do break down this Evo where I'm going to put some things. So, this rock ledge cave thing thinking about that's where I'm gonna put the a cans spread them out on there so that way they have an area to grow on and then this skull right there the skull in the back on the right thinking about putting a torch in one of its eyeballs or in one of its eye sockets uh, I think it would look pretty cool and then maybe put the bubble coral down here and maybe the frog spawn back in the corner and the hammer put it back in that corner I don't know because that coral seems to be outgrowing that tank 
and that way we can get this one going and maybe get some chalices or some type of encrusting put something on that skull maybe on that skull here we got the torch all fly, flopping around in there that'd be pretty cool Shh. will you will you will you quit you're being rude stop it So, I need some ideas, my people. I need some ideas. I don't know what's going on in this tank right now. These A cans, sorry for the blue, but I don't have my lens on. These A cans decided randomly, hey, I'm gonna blow over for this video. Thanks, guys. But yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm toying with the idea, breaking it down, putting all the coral into the cube, and then uh, maybe put the pajama cardinal in the cube, and the blizzard clown in the 45. There's some ideas I'm toying with, but I'm not sure. Just, I mean, I'm, I'm always open to suggestions on anything, so. Put it down below. You never know. But yeah, uh, all in all, I um, actually have some coral coming really soon for this one. It's gonna look really nice with some zoas and things in there. Or if I break this Evo down, I already have some coral going. So I've already done two big water changes on this because the nitrates were so high on this thing. I did one big water change of 15 gallons and that cut it in half, so I did another one and that in, it was still red on the API test kit. So I just went ahead and did a, a 20 gallon the other day and nitrates are finally where they're supposed to be at. A tolerable level. And all the other levels are really good. Magnesium, calcium, phosphate's low. So yeah, this tank is ready for life. I've just been putting a little bit less ammonia than I have been. Just letting it circulate in there. But yeah, this death cube is coming, it's coming along. It's actually getting really nice and can't wait to get some living things in here. Can't wait to get some uh, cool fish in here too. All right, guys. Well, it's that time. Let's squat back down. It is that time. I just wanted to give you a quick update video on the death cube and show you how it's coming along. It's actually coming along really nice. Really excited. I can't wait to get this into a flourishing reef. But it, once again, just let me know about the Evo. Break it down, put it all in the cube. I mean, three tanks is kind of a, a maintenance. I don't know. Whatever. I don't know. Multiple tanks are cool, but doing water changes all the time, it, it takes a while. You know what I mean? The Evo was a nice tank, but I don't know. I don't know. But I'm also wishy washy. I kind of want to keep it so that I can keep some shrimp and maybe some mollies in there for uh, some live food to feed what I'm going to put in here. Alright guys, this is the end. If you're new to the channel, I hope you like this video. I know it was kind of short, sweet, simple to the point. But check out the other videos on this cube, like me setting it up and giving the first impressions and things like that if you're interested. Or check out some other videos like the Evo or the uh, 45 gallon rescue series. This t that tank has come a long way. That's, that's cool. It's a good series to check out if you're interested. Anyway, as always, you can subscribe up in here or check out some videos down below somewhere around here. And Brian from Saltfish TV, out.